Hello everyone. Today we're going to discuss uh, ankle instability. Ankle instability is a condition where the ligaments of the ankle following a severe trauma um, tear and heal themselves in an elongated position. And this excessive elongation doesn't give the ankle the correct amount of stiffness that it needs and therefore the ankle uh, keeps rolling and is um, perceived by the patient uh, as well as the doctor on the physical examination as unstable. In the early stages of ankle instability, physical therapy can be very useful in strengthening the ankle and basically relying on the muscles and the tendons to stabilize um, the joint as opposed to relying on the ligaments alone. But in a certain amount of patients, this is still not enough. And therefore, what can you do about it? One possibility is to wear a brace for the rest of your life, which may be uh, an option for some people. Uh, but for the vast majority of people, this is not acceptable. Um, wearing a brace um, for the rest of your life may be uh, cumbersome and uncomfortable. Uh, but it's certainly something that I recommend in patients who may be uh, poor candidates for surgery. The surgical treatment for these kind of conditions is a ligament reconstruction, which means tightening those excessively elongated ligaments. Uh, this can be done with an incision over the outside part of the ankle, which this is ankle model, and this is the part of the ankle we're talking about. This is your outside bone. And the ligaments we're talking about are ligaments that go from this bone to the other ankle bones here and prevent the ankle from rolling over. One option is to make a two, three inch incision over the uh, ankle bone and reconstructing and tightening those ligaments. Uh, my preferred technique is a minimally invasive approach where through a uh, one centimeter uh, incision, um, I'm able to retighten those uh, ligaments. Uh, the procedure takes about 20 minutes and it's done under um, sedation or general anesthesia, depending on the patient's preference, as well as a regional nerve block, which helps tremendously with nerve pain. After surgery, patients are uh, off the foot for two weeks, and then I allow them to start walking in a uh, one of those fracture boots for another four weeks. At six weeks after surgery, they're allowed to uh, walk in a sneaker with a, without a brace and to start physical therapy. Uh, at six weeks, you can start low impact activities uh, such as stationary bike, uh, elliptical, uh, certainly no problem with upper body uh, weights and certain types of uh, lower extremity exercises. Uh, whereas return to more high impact uh, activities, running, jumping, uh, this I usually recommend resuming at about uh, 10 to 12 weeks after the procedure and depending on your progress with uh, physical therapy and how stable the ankle feels after surgery. Uh, overall, it's a uh, procedure that has a fairly high um, success rate. Uh, one thing that you have to keep in mind is that not all ankle ligament uh, repairs are enough to guarantee the longevity of the ankle stability. What does this mean? Certain patients, for instance, have particularly high arches. And when patients have high arches, they tend to walk a little bit more on the outside part of the foot. And this further stretches those ligaments. And so these patients may also require um, a mild uh, foot realignment in order to prevent the ligaments from re-tearing uh, again after even a short period of time. So uh, I recommend talking to your orthopedic surgeon about your options and um, discuss whether or not you are a candidate for 
a ligament repair or if you need a foot realignment at the same time.